Users have asked for a way to do multiple arrangements of a song, and in Pro Presenter 5, it's finally available. Now you can easily lay out a song and make multiple arrangements of the same song, even in the exact same playlist. So let's see how this works. So here's Everlasting God, and we're going to go through and label this song. Now the best practice for labeling is starting in the top corner and working your way down, and you'll see why. So first I'm going to right click on the slide, and I'm going to apply a label to it of verse 1. Now, as you can see, it's applied everything after it, verse 1 as well. But as we go through, we can keep naming it because it's going to try group slides together. So now we're going to go here and we're going to say a new group. And we want to actually make this a pre-chorus. So I'm going to hit other and I'm going to type in pre-chorus. I'm just going to say add label to preferences, which allows us to keep the label for later use. Now we're going to go to the next slide and this is our chorus. So I'm going to go to new group and I'm going to say chorus. And then last, we're going to go down here to the end and we're going to do a new group and call this blank. So now all of our slides have been labeled. So now let's create some arrangements. So I'm going to hit the arrangements button. And in here, you'll see our arrangement editor. And I'm going to click the gear icon drop down. And I'm going to go down to add new arrangement. And I'm going to add this arrangement. And this is going to be for Sunday morning. So we're going to call this the uh, Sunday AM arrangement. And it automatically has put all of the slides in here. And so I can easily just reorder these and you'll watch as it live updates and reorders what's below. So we're going to do a blank first and then we sing the first verse twice and we do the pre-chorus and the chorus. And then we're going to do the exact same again. So we're going to do blank and then we're going to do verse one, verse one, pre-chorus, and then we'll end with a double chorus. So there is our arrangement for Sunday AM. But now I want to add another arrangement for youth. So we're going to add a new arrangement and call this one youth. And this arrangement, we're going to start with the blank. And then we're going to do verse 1, but we're only going to do it once. And then we're going to do pre-chorus, chorus. And then we're going to do a double chorus here. And we're going to do blank, verse, pre-chorus, and then we're going to do another double chorus. So this is our youth version. So now you can see we have our Sunday AM arrangement that looks this way, and we have our youth arrangement. Now the best part about arrangements is you only have to edit things once. So I can go back to my master slide, and let's say I want to go into my editor, and I could say, well, as should be capitalized here. So we're going to capitalize that and we'll go back out. And now if I go into my arrangement of Sunday AM, you can see that every single time that slide was used, it was recapitalized. We can also put multiple arrangements in the same playlist. And this is great for if you do a song at the beginning and then at the very end of the uh, morning you do just the chorus of a song. You want to have both of them in there but not tell your operator to go back to the first track. So I'm going to grab two different instances of Everlasting God and put them in my playlist. The first one I'm going to flip down the arrangement editor and I'm going to add my Sunday morning uh, arrangement. My second one I'm going to go to and I'm going to add a chorus only arrangement I created. So this just has the chorus and so now when we go back to the first one you'll see it's my Sunday AM arrangement and the second one is my chorus only so we have multiple instances of the exact same song in the playlist. Ooh.